shorts go and check it out i'm gonna show you this i've had this dress guys i've had this dress since i was in university i'm gonna sit down welcome 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 to the channel welcome all i'm actually gonna end up just wearing my jacket because i really do not want to distract distract you guys um that's not why I'm here. I'm not here to distract you. I'm here to talk about something. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel, all of you. Um, welcome to the new, welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome to the old subscribers. Gosh, I'm actually looking really nice today. I did my hair, right? I've got my hair. Um, so you guys know I did a text release, but I've got it kind of like straightened and just prepared. So and I've packed, obviously. So we're ready for our flight. And I did say I wasn't going to do a video, but this is just going to be a quick one. Guys, you see how I have to cover cover my chest because I'm really not trying to expose my bride price. I'm not trying to expose my bride price before my husband has even paid the bride price. Hey, Jesus Christ. Okay, so, because I'm honestly looking lovely. I know I'm looking lovely today. So let me just quickly put my jacket on. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I need to put my jacket on so I can stop exposing my bride price. I'm not trying to disgrace my ancestors. <laughs> I'm not trying to disgrace my ancestors before my, my husband-to-be has even paid for my bride price. Okay, 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 okay. So, what do I want to discuss today? Today, I just wanted to quickly talk about the obsession with black women being submissive. People are obsessed with black women being submissive. Why are people so obsessed with black women being submissive? When you look at the dictionary and you look at the word and the meaning of the word submissive, it, especially when it comes to relationships, it when we use submissive as an adjective, it it's almost like you're describing someone who's sheep-like. So when I mean sheep-like, you're describing someone who... Huh, doesn't really have any thoughts of their own. They just go, yes, sir, no, sir, three bags, full, sir. Yes, sir. You know, when you tell them jump, they say how high. When you tell them this, they go, yes, sir, please give me more. Oliver Twist kind of person, in my opinion. Um, and when I mean Oliver Twist, I mean someone who just does whatever you tell them to do. Actually, no, Oliver Twist was even more defiant, I would say. Now, there's this obsession online with black women being submissive. And when I look at the definition of submissive, very meek, um, you know, uh, someone who succumbs to authority very quickly, fair enough. I feel like everybody will have points in their life where they're submissive at some point. But this obsession with black women being submissive all the time in a relationship seems quite unhealthy and I would say quite predatory because the word submissive is being used to describe someone's entire personality as if that's it. So when they talk about how they want black women to be submissive, they just mention that as the entire person's personality and nothing else. It's almost like a, a complete destruction and eradication of someone else's, someone's personality, the complete removal of every other personality trait they have. And this woman just has to be submissive. This is not ideal. And actually I find it quite sinister so most people, when I look around, especially in like Af when I'm talking about African, I'm Nigerian. Most Nigerian women I've seen are not submissive in general. And I'm talking about, you know, the actual definition of the word meek. Um, you know, most people or most women, especially Nigerian women, they're not submissive. They are, you know, um, they are people who are pillars in their households essentially and that doesn't mean that the man is in a pillar but they are also women who are respected now for me I wouldn't really call myself a submissive woman but that doesn't mean I don't respect G in fact you guys know how much I love and respect G G is my fiance for people, all of you who don't know um you guys know how much I love deeply love and respect G but I wouldn't call myself a submissive woman, per se. Um, in fact, so I would say I get around 80%, 80, 85% positive comments. And then I'll get the odd 
negative comment every once in a while on one of my videos. And you guys, some of you may have seen some of my responses to some of these negative comments. I can be very sassy. I can be a very sassy and feisty woman. And actually, that is one of the things that G loves about me. But that doesn't mean that I don't respect G. In fact, I probably respect him more than anyone I've ever been with. It's one of the reasons why we get on so well and why we are so happy together and actually taking this step into marriage because he loves my character, my personality, and it didn't require me to be a yes man, no man. Did, did you see that? Did you see that? No. Okay, now that earring is not submissive. <laughs> But yeah, um, he loves my personality and it didn't require me to be a yes sir, no sir woman. All it required me to do was to be yourself. So in, as far as I'm concerned, a healthy relationship, when two people are in a healthy relationship, they respect each other's boundaries and they don't have to change the entire personality of who they are just to basically subdue someone's insecurities I believe all these men that are going on about black women and their obsession with black women being submissive, I believe they're incredibly insecure and the, insecure, the insecurity is a bottomless pit. It's never ending. So even if the woman was submissive, they would still find something else that they would struggle with because it's nothing to do with the women. It's to do with them. As far as I'm concerned, I don't believe a healthy relationship, people have to completely change the entirety of who they are and completely remove every other personality trait and just be submissive. You know, I think that's a very simple way of describing a woman and people really forget that women are also individuals with their own personalities and not every woman is, no two women are the same. Everyone has their own individual specific ways of interacting thinking and all of that so in for me in a healthy relationship two people respect each other's boundaries they don't do things on purpose to hurt each other and when they do th do things to hurt each other they acknowledge that they've done something hurtful and they try not to do it again because the best proof and example of changed behavior or of an apology is changed behavior i don't like people constantly saying sorry 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 just when you are sorry, change the behavior, and then that will show me that you're actually sorry. This obsession with black women being submissive, I think has nothing to do with black women themselves, but more of the insecurity of the person asking for this total submission. So in my opinion, total submission is absolutely crazy. So that doesn't mean that you don't trust the person so I trust G I trust G actually with my life because he, he's actually been with me when I'm sick and he's taken care of me and he's kept me healthy and happy and you know in a great condition I, I, I feel fantastic you know being with him but at the same time I don't believe I need to give up all of my entire personality to please him in fact one of the things that he says he loves about me is my feistiness and my sassiness. I would, in fact, he told me his ex, she was a good example of a genuinely meek person and she bored him to tears. So <laughs> he said that the entire conversations were just like, hi, how are you today? What did you eat? How was your food? Was it good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Oh, really? Okay, great. That was it. <laughs> that was the conversation. <laughs> there was no talk about, you know, um, there was no talk about current affairs. Just you weren't, they weren't even able to have a proper discussion. And G says one of the things he loves about me, one of the things that really made him to know that I was going to be his life partner is that we are able to discuss about things and have di disagreements and have differences of opinion and that's okay in a relationship it's normal no two people are the same for men to come here and start saying that they want black women to be yes sir no sir and just answer everything to everything the man says and you know have absolutely no disagreements with the man is utterly 
mentally, psychotically imbalanced. And it is one of the worst takes I have seen on relationships in my life. And most of the time when women do end up becoming that meek, yes man, yes sir, no sir, free bags, full sir, sheep-like human being, they end up abused. They end up unhappy because you because they're denying the fact that they're human beings with their own thoughts, feelings, minds, needs, wishes, desires, dreams, wants. You cannot stuff your own human desires down just to please somebody else and make them feel comfortable in the relationship with who they are. Everybody has to be comfortable with who they are. And everybody has to be okay with other people being comfortable with who they are. And this is the problem. I feel like a lot of guys aren't comfortable with women being comfortable with themselves. You know, um, so they always want to diminish. And in my opinion, being a man and being confident in who you are as a man will not require you to diminish the woman and will not require the woman to diminish herself. That doesn't mean that the woman shouldn't respect the man. Absolutely. Respect. And you guys know my, my opinion on respect. Respect is incredibly important. You cannot have a relationship without respect. In fact, a relationship without respect is dead in the water because you're just going to be doing things that, you know, will essentially hurt and destroy and harm the person, you know, but at the same time, being in a relationship doesn't really mean that you should suddenly lose who you are and remove every other personality trait about yourself and become submissive. They use these blank words like feminine, fit, friendly, submissive. There are other things that women are apart from those things, you know, and that's perfectly fine. Don't get me wrong. I think people should do their best to, you know, try and stay healthy just so that you can enjoy your life in general. But this whole mindset that black women have to be submissive, this obsession with trying to, you know, for me, like I said, there are some people who are just naturally meek and that's who they are naturally. They're not forcing themselves to be meek. Honestly, anytime I see someone trying to force themselves to be something they're not, it always goes wrong. It never works out well um but yeah I, I don't know this obsession with black women being submissive this is not genuine this is rooted in and don't give me don't even talk about don't I don't even want to hear people say, talk about black women being aggressive that's absolute nonsense every single human being on this planet has the ability to be aggressive every living thing has the ability to be aggressive go and look at a cat in the eye and they might scratch you a random a random a random animal even every single animal in this planet and we are animals human beings are animals people forget this every single animal on this planet has the ability to be aggressive so why wouldn't women be you know there's this they just want to remove the whole facet of a human being's experience from a woman they want to mold a woman into this blank slate you know she has no other function but to serve the man and that's just not true you know I am very 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 lucky that I am with a man that wants me to be myself that enjoys my actual self I feel like a lot of men are with women that they don't actually enjoy their personality that's why they're obsessed with trying to make them submissive and change their personalities if you don't enjoy the person that you're with just leave and find someone that you actually enjoy being with that, like I said, guys, this doesn't mean you shouldn't respect your partner. If you're a woman and you're out disrespecting your partner, I don't really know what you're doing. Why are you in that relationship if you're going to disrespect the guy consistently? That doesn't make sense. But this obsession with men wanting women to consistently be meek and sheep-like with no thoughts of their own. This is, this is not, this is, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> But um, yeah, I just wanted to discuss this obsession with women being submissive. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Um, you know, because honestly, the idea that black women are aggressive. Uh, I've seen plenty of women of other races being aggressive. Aggression is not exclusive to race. Shall I say that again so that you can understand me? Aggression is not exclusive to race. 
Everybody can be aggressive if they want. Push someone hard enough and they'll show you the aggression that they have inside them. So yeah, that's all I have to say. For me, personally, I I love um, the dynamic I have with G. And don't get me wrong, I definitely think there are adjustments you make when you want to live a long, happy life with someone. You adjust certain attitudes. If you've been consistently... You know, if you if you are someone who struggles to, you know, find your footing, definitely when you start having a long term relationship with someone like marriage, you know, then you will have to adjust certain behaviors so that you can live in harmony with someone on a long term basis, because you can't live in harmony with someone if you're if you're constantly argumentative. But I would say that that goes for anyone, man or woman, being consistently argumentative with someone, man or woman will make your relationship miserable. This is not exclusive to black women. Anyone can be argumentative and, you know, not happy and, and consistently, you know, problematic, shall I say. So, um, yeah, this obsession with black women being submissive, it's just been blown up on the internet. I'm not really sure where it's come from, but... As for me, I think submission is okay in certain circumstances. I don't think it should be something that's forced. And I don't think it's required to keep a guy. Because I've seen plenty of people in happy relationships, including my own. And the woman isn't primarily submissive. Um, I think this is incredibly misleading and most of the women that I've seen that have tried to force themselves to be submissive have ended up in extremely unhappy situations, sometimes dangerous and deadly situations. So yeah, that's all I had to say today, guys. I am going to bounce because I have a flight to catch very soon and I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and watch the shorts that I put up of me packing for this incredible trip that me and G are going to go on. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, 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 thank you for all the subscribers, all the new. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in Poland. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Bye.